Oh, please. Hebrews 13, 17, prophets on the scene, wash your souls clean before we go into the gasoline. Took a while to understand, Psalms 111, 10, brother calling me from Mississippi trying to build a man. I flushed 14 grams, it made angels rejoice, it made me and Satan divorce, no spot of support. I'm running the course with my hand to the plow, now. putting in the pebble the way soldier James taught me how. Break it out! It strengthened my spirit when we in the building, ain't no feeling like giving the precept for a precept given. Preach in MOV conditions. Teach self a second living. We second Timothy 215 represent us. Sheesh. Will the common interest prophesy to the wind? Reveal the man of sin, endure it to the end. We watch the watchmen man. for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel. We the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel. We the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel. We the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel. We the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel. We the watchmen for Israel, cause we watch it for Israel. We the watchmen for Israel. Hey, Salon, Salon, Salon. You are back once again. This is episode nine of the Watchmen Radio, the decree of the watchers. I'm Officer Simakaya. Officer Asa. Shalom, shalom, Officer Judah. Officer Ariel. Shalom. So today we're going to be continuing. We're going to be continuing these last couple of shows. We've been dealing with the gang culture and how it is a detriment and how it affects our community, how it affects us as a people. So we're going to go right into it. We're going to bring up, we're going to bring, continue to bring out some, uh, some more things that go on in our communities. And this time we're going to touch on some of the Northern Kingdom things. Because we don't want to make this, this ain't all about O Block. This ain't all about, uh, what's that, Tukaville. This ain't well, all about the South Side or Inglewood. It, right. go, it, goes, it goes, we're dealing with Chicago right now. But as we're going to see, as we go on week after week, this goes on in every neighborhood that the blacks, Hispanics are in. That's uh, right. Pull up that first video. And I want to show this too, just to bring this out. Uh, get Jeremiah 50, 30, 50 and 33 real quick. Bring it out. Because when you go every city, every major city in America that you go to, where you see the where you see the blacks at, the Hispanics are right there all the time, all the time. And then you you all you always have it's a, a remnant of so called blacks that be intermixed with the the, the uh, Hispanic gangs all the time. And then it's always a remnant of some of the Hispanics that's f mixed in with the yep. Jake, the uh, the black so called black gang. The hell that is lets this? you know that. The, read the read the verse. Read the verse. The read book of Jeremiah, out. chapter fifty and verse thirty three. Thus saith the Lord of hosts: The children of Israel and the children of Judah will oppress together. So and it says the children of Israel, which we know as the Northern Kingdom or the Hispanic tribes. Read. And it says, in the children of Judah, that would be the so-called blacks. And it says they were oppressed together. That's why from city to city, state to state, where you see the blacks, the Hispanics right there next door. You like here in Chicago, you got what? North, North Lawndale and South, South Lawndale. Lawndale. You got Inglewood, then you got back of the, yard. back of the yards right there. We all, every neighborhood we are in, even in the some of the suburbs, right? Uh, it, it's, we, we are right there with each other. That lets you know that we are the same people. And in the, in the same communities, you got the Hispanic gangs right. warring against the black gangs, but also warring against their own self. Yep. Right. That yep. lets you know that we the same people. Just seeing, just looking at that, what goes on in our neighborhoods. You see the blacks, the black gangs against the black gangs. You go to the Hispanics, you got Hispanic gangs warring against the Hispanic gangs. It ain't right. just the Latin kings trying to kill the GDs. Right. It's them, they killing each other, just like the, just like the, the so-called blacks are killing each other. The Hispanics are doing the same thing. The so-called Mexicans, the so-called Puerto Ricans, which are the Israelites, the northern kingdom of Israel, the Ephraimites, the, it's the, the uh, tribe of Issachar. Read on. And all that took them captive helped them fast. Uh -huh. They refused to let them go. And that's, that's, that's in a nutshell what we about, some of the things we about to see. We are oppressed together. We have to see that as a people. We got to understand, why do we hate each other so much? 
is because our slave masters, our captors, set us against each other. But we don't see it. We think it's cool. We think it's fun. Our young young men grow up and they see, uh, they see the the the, the heroin dealer or the dope dealer making all this money, and they think it's cool because he 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 got power. But he got power and respect by killing off his own people. That's not how we supposed to be living. That's right. Pull up that first clip. So these are this is what we finna see is some of the results from living that gang life. Pull up that video. I left the club. I walked out, jumped in the car. Car ran up next to me. I looked at him. He thought I was flashing gang signs. All hell broke loose, and uh, started shooting us. Uh, hold on. I got shot. So six you times see here, and the stomach, and the thigh. Go ahead, play it. Play it. Thighs. I got a fractured bones. Being again, give me more knowledge about who my family is and my loved ones and knowing what's right and what's wrong and who's the real people that love you from the real part you know you know who your friends are and who who ain't so we see we look at we looking game. at this brother his life was his quality of life was gone boosting into it i started wanting to see he can't even hand, walk he by himself he got a walker well, and he still is, need help to all. walk on the walker he said he got shot six times, so he forever, so as long as he's living in this life, he, he's forever got aches and pains. He said his bone was fractured, he got shot in the stomach, and he has a walker, and he can't even walk on the walker. They still get, he, he still has to be supported in his walker. Give me that in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, because this is the results of the gang life. This is what happens to many. You got some that get paralyzed, they get shot up, they get paralyzed, they're in a wheelchair. Some of them lead a gang life alone, but some of them take that, oh, I'm still here, and they take it as a a, a, a scar, a war, a, a, a gang scar, war, whatever, war, a war wound. Badge of honor. And that is a, yeah, that's, what I'm, that's the word I'm looking for, a badge of honor. They look at it as a badge of honor, so they still be on the block um, selling drugs. I think I was reading, a, I think it was in the Wikipedia, I was reading about the certain gangs, and one of them got shot down. He got paralyzed from the waist down, but he was still in his wheelchair selling drugs, doing dope. His, 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 his gang, fellow gang members were driving him around in the van with the wheelchair stuffed in the back so he could still do the dirt that he was doing. So he didn't learn his lesson. Even though he, his quality of life was destroyed, he didn't learn his lesson. But read that, Jeremiah 29 and 11. The book of Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you. So this is the most high God speaking unto us, the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This life that you see on these streets, this gang life, you got to look over your shoulder. You scared day in and day out. You fear for your life. Some people don't. Some of them don't fear for their life. But to have that, to live that life where you, you just always in paranoia, think somebody finna run up on you. Let's read on. Read on. Let's see what the most high God said. Let's, let's see what the most high God said he want for us. Read. For I know the thought. That I think toward you, uh -huh. saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace. Thoughts of peace. When you go through the streets of Chicago, do you see peace? There's no peace in the streets. At all. Every day, anybody you see standing on the block, what they doing? They standing on the corner, they looking around. That ain't peace. Or they, they wake up this. and go ahead. I ain't mean cut you nah, off. Go ahead. Or they do this. On that car. Right. That ain't peace. That lets you know that you are walking out of alignment. With your father, with your God. But the most high want us, this is what the most high want us to see. Read. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. So it says thoughts of peace and not of evil. To get shot six times and then now you walking on a walker and you can't walk by yourself. Most people that put on a walker, they still can move around by themselves. Right. We just watched this. He, he had to get out the car and they still had to hit. The, he had the walker, but they still had to help him with the walker. He a young man, too. Right. Walkers is for elderly people. Exactly. And then he got, she can't even enjoy his children. He got children. He got a wife. He can't even enjoy them because, because of the gang life. He said, well, he, he said he came out of a club, which he shouldn't have been in. If we, was, if we was still connected to our heritage, 
he would have known not to be in the club. He, he coming out of the club, got in the car, car pulled up on him. They thought they thought that he he said they thought that he threw up gang signs at him, and they shot him down. When you look at the title of the video, it's a uh, he was a two six, I believe. So automatically that lets you know whether he threw up gang signs or not. They seen you and recognized you, so that's why they shot the car up automatically because that's the that's the vibe that goes on in the streets. Um, read on. I think I want 12 too. Verse 12. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Uh-huh. And so that's so the most high want us to have a a a a, a, a I don't want to say prosperous, but that's the word that comes to my mind. The most high want us to have a good life. I'll say it like that. The most high want us to have a good life. But the only way we're gonna have that good life is when we keep the commandments, when we do those things that please him, That's when we right. gather together as a people and not shoot each other down in the streets day by day. We're looking over our shoulder. I don't, I, I know, I think we said it every show, but I don't understand it how we go through the same struggles, whether you so-called black, so-called Hispanic, we go through the same damn struggles. But yet, these men, these brothers, Pick up a, is quick to pick up a gun and shoot the brother for some for a block that ain't yours. Amazing. That never made any sense to me. It, they say this this our hood, Don't but Esau no could move them right off of there. The SWAT right. team come through there, National Guard. They yep. gonna move y'all ass out the way. Right. Makes no sense. Check check. You mind if I get this? Go ahead, go ahead. I promise I'll be quick. Let me get uh, Ephesians chapter two and verse twelve. So a lot. What's crazy about what you said was. A lot of us, we fall into these different types of gangs. We fall into this different lifestyle. Because a lot of us, we don't know what, what we're doing, where we came from, where we're going, and we have no hope. Right. Let me get that, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 12. The book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 12. Come on. That at the time ye were without Christ. Right now is a time where a lot of us are without Christ, those of us that's in the world. You don't know that you are an Israelite according to the Bible. A lot of our people, whether we black or Hispanic, we don't know that we are God's chosen people and that we're supposed to be keeping God's commandments, that we're the chosen people of the Lord. Read on. That at that time you were without Christ. Come on. Being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Read. And strangers. From the covenants of promise. Come on. Having no hope. Having what? Having no hope. That's how a lot of our people live out here in the streets of Chicago. 100%. And we stand on the corners and we got nothing to do. We just wasting right. our life away because we have no hope. We have no vision. And then we try to search for something in gangs or cliques or whatever block you from, whether you're in Detroit or whatever the case may be. And then what it is is last scripture, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 22. He said one scripture. My bad. Go ahead. That was one. That was <laughs> one. That was one. Give my muscle too. Wisdom of Solomon 14 to 22. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 22. Uh-huh. Moreover, this was not enough for them. Come on. That they erred in the knowledge of God. All of us, we have erred at some point in time in the knowledge of God. What's the knowledge of God? Keeping the commandments. Knowing that Christ died for us, that we, we are God's people. Come on. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance. It says we live what? They lived in the great war of ignorance. We don't know what we doing, where we came from, where we going, nothing. We live in a great war of ignorance. That's why we chase evil. That's why we call what? Read, read on. Those so great plagues called. Those great what? Those so great plagues. Gang violence is a plague. Selling drugs one to another is a plague. Doing abortions, that's a plague. Those, those great plagues, read. Call they peace. We call it peace. We think that stuff is normal, and it's not. It's not normal one bit, okay? Hey, you know some. Uh, as we about to get into this next clip, we can't run past what that brother said. He said, being in the gang life showed me who my real family was, who my real friends was. And hey, you know what? I didn't, I didn't realize this. I was, I was, I was confused. When when I heard that, I thought he, I thought I, I thought it skipped. I thought it skipped and took something out of his words or something. Cause that don't that don't make no sense to have that thought process, and you just got shot up and you can't even walk. You can't even enjoy your life. Well, go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. Nah, you good? Cause I was gonna say like a lot of these brothers, these brothers that you you cleave to. I don't want to say cleave. 
These brothers that's your rappy, your boy, your ace bone coon, when you get your ass shot up like that or you go to jail, they not going to send you no money on your books. They not going to take care of your kids. You think they going to come help you with the walker or help you when you got a bag connected to you? Very few will do that. Very few. So it's time for you to wake up, all you young men that's in that life. Because when Ish hit the fan, all them brothers you around going to disappear. Give me uh, Jeremiah 5 and 25 before we pull up that next clip. Because like we read, we just read in Jeremiah 29 and 11 that the Most High wanted to give us peace and not evil. And he wanted, he wanted to give us an expected end. And expected end is the kingdom. When we doing what's right, he gonna, we going to get the kingdom. But read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things. It and says, but your iniquities have turned away these things. That's why day in and day out in the black community that you got to look over your shoulder. You got to look over you. You constantly looking over your shoulder, watching every car that go down the street. You can't really, you, can't, you ain't got no peace because your iniquities, your, your murderous spirit, the hatred that you got towards your brother, that brings evil to you. Hey, also, they can't go nowhere. These brothers nope. can't, they can't go downtown. They can't nope. go to a restaurant. They can't go to no public place. They got a stain on their name. They got to stay, they faces marked. They seen out in public, somebody making a call. Like we, like we, the couple show, we, like we happened with FBG Duck. He, he was seen the other, the other one that just got killed recently. Um, the one that got killed on the west side, what's his name? THF. THF. That's what happened. Somebody seen him and they made a call and, they came and hunted them down. Or they got to wear a ski mask every time they go outside. Right, right. And that don't even help because I think, uh, I want to say on the videos we was playing with FBG, FBG Duck Mother, she was she brought that out. That this is, and we understand that it's a spirit. We, we, get a, we, we, right. we have spirits. So if I know you, if you my op, and I always see you, you can have on a thousand masks, yep. but when I see you, I know you. I know walk. who you are. I know exactly who. I <laughs> you know, know that head hey, when I see it. This I know that like, walk. Yeah. It's gonna be like, oh, oh, is that? And they gonna get a better position. You don't even know. They gonna get a better position and see your eyes. Oh yeah, that's him. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, you Next thing you know, five minutes, five ten minutes later, somebody that pulled up and shot you down. Hey, you know what's so heavy about this uh the subject we go into these gangs because um believe it or not, every like you mentioned before, everything is spiritual, but believe it or not, what uh, people don't know that this gang stuff is rooted in idolatry. Yep. Look at the symbols. You got the pitchfork, uh -huh. you got the six point star, you got yep. the crown, you got the bunny, you know. Let me show you something. Let's go to Amos chapter uh five and verse twenty six, just in case if you don't believe me, right? Because all it is is bait this this gang life is rooted in idolatry deeply and heavily. Yep. There's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing far fetched about what we're doing out here in these streets. Read. The book of Amos, chapter 5 and verse 26. Uh huh. But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Molech. The tabernacle of who? Of your Molech. So when you read the scriptures, uh, you know, also Molech, we used to sacrifice our babies to Molech. That's uh today, modern day abortion. After our, children, our women give birth, they put them in, the, they cast them through the fire. They sacrifice to Molech, but that's not what it says here, but to the tabo of Molech, right? Well, read on. But you have borne the tabernacle of your Molech uh -huh. and Tyon, your images. Your images, right? Just like we were talking about the crown, the, the six-point star, the, the, the bunny rabbit, right? Ashtaroth, by the way. Easter's coming up. Damn. Read. The star of your God. Uh, what'd you say, officer? Yeah. I said they even used the uh, swastika. Swastika, right. The Latin, uh, the Latin disciples, I think it was. And you know what? Our people so wicked, right? Because when, when you use the swastika, right, they, they, it's like sideways, right? But really, the swastika stands for young futures because it's shaped like a Y and an F. Right. I know we that wicked. Was your no, kid, we wicked, right? That was your game. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> we know what he was. Damn. Honestly. <laughs> Amazing. Right. Now, finish up the point, though. Read. The star of your God. The who? Of your God. Right, the six-point star, right? The star of Molech, right? The same star that's under people, right? The folks, they use that six-point star, right? Yep. Read. Yep. Which ye made to yourselves. Right. We, all these images we made to ourselves. All this gang stuff is 
rooted in deep idolatry. Right. Now go back to Jeremiah 5 and 25. Let's finish that out. Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. So your sins have withholding the good things for you. You can't have a you can't have a peaceful life because you're in the midst of wickedness. And a lot of these brothers, they because we're gonna go through some of these videos, we're gonna move on so we can get to the videos, but we're gonna see that. It's the parents that was in the gang life. All they did was mold their children uh -oh. to be more demons than themselves. Uh -oh. And that's why, it, like we, like a lot of these old heads like to say, yeah, they, they, they don't even fight no more. They just pull up a gun. Yeah, it's your damn fault. You the Break one was out. showing them how to do the shit. Break it out. So, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. You the one was showing them how to do the stuff. So how, that. what do you expect? They going to be worse than you. That's right. They not going to do the same thing you was doing. Because you got locked up. All of the, the old so-called old heads got locked up. So the, the, the little bit of structure that they did have, the, the young ones, they, they ain't got it. But you shouldn't have been showing them the wickedness. You should have been showing them how to go to school, how to get an education so they don't have to live the same life that you have. So pull up that next clip. Pull up that next clip. Sound, sound. We don't feel about innocent people. We don't give a fuck about innocent people. Let's go back to the beginning. We don't know them. You dig what I'm saying? What we feel about innocent people. Let me tell you. Hey, we don't feel about innocent people. We don't give a fuck about innocent people. What we should feel about. We don't know them. You dig what I'm saying? What are we going to feel about them? So, so, that's, that's evil as hell. It's just, just plain as day. It's evil as hell. That's how that you have no regard for life. You just, this is, this, that's, he literally said, uh, what do you say? What do, what do we care about innocent people? Right, we, we don't give a F people, about innocent right. people. We don't know them. Who cares? These are monsters to, uh, that the scriptures talk about. Yeah, right. Now, we read this scripture last. We're going to pull it up. Get second. I'm going to go straight to the point, though. Second Timothy 3 and 3. Well, we just, I've watched, and they're going to further it in this part of the video, but read that in Titus, I mean, Second Timothy 3 and 3. The book of Second Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 3. Without natural affection. That's what that's an exact image of without natural affection. Because if you had any sense, if you have any care morals. or morals, you would understand. Hell, you having beef with a brother and killing them is wrong all out. But you would have some level of uh, uh, understanding. Okay, my beef is with this brother. I'm going to spare the innocent people. I'm going to spare the people that ain't got nothing to do with it. I ain't going to go drive down the damn block and just shoot. Shoot everywhere, right. shoot everybody up. And then miss, the, miss my target, but kill all of the innocent people. And then don't give a damn because you don't know them. Right. That's without natural affection, without empathy. You don't care about nobody but yourself. Uh, play the video, play. He's the old heads, right, officer? Yeah, and he's the old. Uh -oh. This is the old video. He's the old heads. This video from like the 80s or something. Yep. Right. What I want to talk about is something That's what serious. I represent right there. All right. What That's I want to talk idol. about just is something. Just the name of Caesar Bow. So he a Catholic. I know you know about, and that is, there are people out on the street getting caught in the middle of gang banging that's going on that have nothing to do with it. That are innocent. I talked to a woman today. <laughs> You see that, that this, this is the same one from the beginning. You see right. how he started busting up laughing as he asked him the question? Now, his little brother saw him get shot. And his younger sister saw him bleed to death on the street. Now, what I want to know is, what do you say to those parents? And why is that happening? Listen to him. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. But why did the person get lit up? He must have done something. So pause. Wrong or right? You never know. So the question was plain. Plain. What if an innocent person get caught in the crossfire and he stood up and say, well, obviously he got hit. He, he had to do something. No accountability. Nothing. Uh, he said ahead. innocent. He didn't say who you right. went to it with. He said innocent. 
No care. That's that without affection, like you was bringing out. And get Proverbs, real quick, get Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 1. Because this this is this is scorner. Just, we finna watch the, we, I'm, I'm gonna try to let it play. Because it's like five minutes. Probably ain't gonna watch the whole thing. But this is a scorner. Because every everything, every question that's posed to him, he flip it back. He don't take no accountability of he don't take no type of accountability. He just flip it right back at the at the uh, the the in person that the guy that's interviewing. Read that real quick. The book of Proverbs, chapter 13 and verse 1. A wise son heareth his father's instruction. So a wise son is going to hear instruction. A wise son, if you ask a wise son, hey, well, what about the innocent people that's getting, you know what? I didn't even think about that when I, when I was doing what I was doing. You know what? I'm going to stop doing that. I'm not going to do it. A wise son is going to listen. But read on. But a scorner heareth not rebuke. A scorner will not hear rebuke. What they going to do? They going to point it right back at you. Give me, um... It's like accountability. That's yeah. exactly what they're saying. They lack accountability. Give me that in Pro- Proverbs now. I think it's the Proverbs now. Verse 7 and 8. Yup. Now in verse 7. The book of Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 7. He that reproveth a scorner. So right now, even though he's asking a question, he's just asking them what happened with the innocent. He's reproving them. Because he's making them, he's trying to get them to think about the evil of their ways. But they, he not, he's, you could tell he the ringleader because he the one laughing when he was asking the question. And as soon as he finished asking the question, he the one, well, look, why was they there? What type of evil was they doing? Was right. they selling drugs? You go, he ain't said it yet. Hey, was they selling drugs? They had to be doing something. But what about his mother? Well, you got to ask the mother, what was, your, what was your son into that he got shot? It's like, what the hell? Read. He that reprove of Reproveth a scorner, get it to himself shame. And that's what's going on. That's what we're watching. You reprove a scorner, you try to get him to understand the wickedness of his ways, and you're going to be shamed because he's going to try to put everything back on you. Read. And he that rebuketh a wicked man, get it himself a blot. He's trying to make the other people look bad and not even acknowledge that you evil as hell. You evil as hell for the life that you're living and the example that you're setting for the young kids that's coming up and watching you like you a, a, a role model. Read. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. So this is what this is what this is what we're watching. Read. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. So you rebuke somebody that's wise, they're gonna see it. They're gonna see the error of their ways. You're like, you know what? I didn't even think about it like that. You know what? I'm gonna change up. I'm gonna change my life. I'm gonna stop being, I'm gonna stop being this evil ass gangbanger out here shooting down and killing innocent people. I'm going I'm to do, do that. But play it on. Play the video. Must have done something. Did that person deal drugs? Huh? You tell me. I don't know. You don't know? No. Well, tell this mother that. The, the person must have been dealing drugs. And, you know, he maybe done something to somebody. Does everybody that gets hurt deserve to get Look hurt? Look at his face, no. bro. That's the, Nobody that, deserves that hurt, bro. Nobody. Nobody. For, uh, one of the time. But Unless they straight demon, that don't deserve to get hurt. No, no, but I mean, when it's time to go, it's time to go. I mean, you know, hey, Life. we were all, hey, we were all, our all parents were strict on us at one time, and then all of a sudden, bam, we just took the wrong turn and got yeah, into we game banging and stuff like that. So, I mean, when it's time to go, it's time to go. Right, when something happens. I mean, you don't have to say you, you don't have to be in the gang. It's just when you gotta go. So this, gotta is, the, and this is the thing that go. go right back yeah. to it. Love. Now we understand that all of us have a time. Right. We, we put on this earth and we have a dispensation of time that we own the earth. We all understand that. But right now, that's not what we're talking about. <sighs> they, 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 that's deflecting. that. Deflecting. Yeah, they deflecting. <laughs> Instead of answering the question, because you a gangbanger, you doing, you selling drugs and you doing the evil. He's asking you, what about the innocent people? that get caught in the crossfire when you go and retaliate and when you go and shoot shots or whatever you do. And your quest, oh, some, everybody got a day. If he got caught, if he got caught, in the, now you godly. If he got caught in the crossfire, hey, it was his time to go. That's an evil spirit. That's a scorner. Uh, play on. Time to go is somebody's time to go. If, if, it, if it happens in gang-related, 
It happens. You know, anybody can die just walking down the street, get hit by a car. Bam. What the it. hell that got she, to do kid. with the question, bro? <laughs> it has nothing to do with the question, nothing. bro. He's not talking about natural death. He's talking about people getting killed as a result of what y'all doing. Innocently. He, he talking about natural death. Ain't so nobody the, so, dying. So, Come on, man. And this is the, get, I just looked at the scripture. I don't, <laughs> the, pro, Proverbs 21. No, Proverbs 20 and verse 24. This is what the game banger trying to say. This is what he's trying to say. He's trying to be spiritual right now. Oh, man. The book of Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24. Man's going are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? What an innocent bystander. He was walking, and it's God. that Hey, he was in the God. It's your time. Him, it's your time. Right. It's your time. It's your time. This is what he, this is what, and this is what, go, this is what Catholicism does. Yeah, hey. This is what the Christian church does. Because they think, like, he got that big-ass cross, cross. the one, the, the, the ring leader got that big-ass yep. yep. white Jesus cross on it. he got Caesar Bow on it. Right. He got yep. Caesar Bow on so they think that they spiritual. They got. They think they got spiritual understanding. So Look. white Jesus didn't tell him that what he was doing was wrong, Bruh. White Jesus didn't do that. I mean, he's it's right amazing. there on his neck. Amazing. He didn't have to go to the amazing. church for that. It's Bruh. on his neck. Jesus. And and you old heads. This the eighties. I we cannot overlook the old heads. Y'all planted the seed and it grew. Cause this is Chicago, right? Yep. That's Chicago. That's Humble Park. And it, it's gold, and, too. And Surely it's, it's more powerful. The thing about it is, as we watching this, the one with the, the ringleader, I know we do it because this, this is Humble Park. This is it's close to this Humble Park. It looked familiar. <laughs> this the young version of him. Right. But I I think we he's still, <laughs> he's still over there. He's sitting <laughs> at the <laughs> park. No, no. I, I, know that him. <laughs> I think I we don't seen him when we go over there and teach. Damn. Hey, never know. We probably did see him. And then uh, play it, play the video, cause the other, the the one that looked like a, uh, the one that looked like he could be eat him. Boy, ain't no way. Boy. When we, it was one, one, it was the, I think, it was a, we went over there and talked, and it was, and we hadn't been over there for a while. Out of park. He came up, he came up, and the was Polak. talking. Yeah, the he Polak. came up and he was talking. I grew up in this neighborhood. Yep. Mm. He was talking. Mm -hmm. That might be him. I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Damn. Hey, we hey we probably did encounter him because I'm thinking about it. I'm, the one with the damn Cesare on his yeah. damn chain. You know, a lot of these brothers they be ending up strung out on drugs. Yep. yep we'll play the video. If you got hit by a car, then you guys wouldn't be talking about us right now. Yep. You, that's you wouldn't be talking at the wrong time. Right. But, the, you know? but we so are got talking. Because right. you got lit up. Right. Anybody here lost anybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And FYI, religion don't change a man. Religion ain't taught him he shouldn't have his damn hat and to the right no, gang bang. Some people got right. theirs. You know what I'm saying? They hurt like we were hurt. They got theirs. And then this is the thing about it. Like, we looking at his, and this ain't no joke. We look, You look at his face. Let's get Sirach chapter 19 and verse 29. Because when you look at his face... Like he doing all that twitching and the way his facial moving, you could tell that he don't believe what he doing. He know what he doing is out at wrong. It's a, it's that evil spirit that's on him. Cause you can see it all in this. You can see it all in his face. Like the guy asked him, "Do you have?" I think the guy just asked him, "Do you have people that was close to you that you lost?" And that made him feel, but he still tried to maintain that 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 hard stance. Yeah, but it's all in his face. Like, no, nah, bro. You, but it's because we've been misguided. He think that's the way. Read, read that. The book of Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter nineteen and verse twenty-nine. A man may may be known by his look, and one that have understanding by his countenance. When thou meetest him, so this, so looking at his facial expressions, looking at how he's moving, he's he's forcing himself. To maintain a stance of being hardcore, not having no feeling, having not having no thought, but it's written all over his face. He don't believe that shit. I'm sorry, excuse my language, but he don't believe he don't he don't believe what he's saying. This is an example of hurt people yep. hurt.
people. All day. That's right. what this is. All yep. day. Because that's he what said. he said out of his mouth. He said, they're he getting said. hurt just like I've been hurt. Yep. Hurt people hurt people. Yep. Uh, play on. Everybody. You can say everybody. Just Nobody in the world who's innocent. Right. Everybody everybody innocent. Innocent. Yep. Guilty. Even the police are guilty. Yep. Yep. There's no innocent, there's nobody innocent. You be at the wrong place, wrong time, you get shot. And it's a bystander. Real quick, shot, give me Isaiah chapter fifty three. So. I can't, I can't just let that because what they doing is this right here. This is how you know you got the blacks and you got the Hispanics sitting there right, right with each other, right? Get that Isaiah chapter fifty three and eleven. Yup. The book of Isaiah chapter fifty three and verse eleven. He shall see of the travail of his soul. No, is that it? Not 53, is it 50? It's about 51 to 20. No. No. Um, putting four for the finger. 58. Yeah, that's it. 58 and nine. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 9. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Uh -huh. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. And if thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity. So what they doing is putting forth of the finger. Hey, why y'all? Why y'all don't consider the innocent when y'all doing y'all evil or when y'all going to retaliate when y'all going to avenge? Well, they they did. They must have had done some evil. Well, what about if somebody get hit by a car? You wouldn't be coming to us. You ain't taking no accountability. You pointing the finger at everything else no. that they got nothing to do. With what are we talking about? This that's an evil spirit. But let's uh, that's that's it on this video because they pretty. It's pretty much the rest of the video is pretty much going into showing the same exact thing. They just doing this. They saying the same things. They just pushing it the blame off of them, and trying to put it on something else. Uh, get that pull that uh, third video up. Got a whole beam in their eye. Right. <laughs> right. We talk about gang violence, not getting hit by cars. Right. Uh, what's the timestamp? Y'all got the timestamp, right? Yep. I'm gonna try to be quiet and let it play. From eight to twelve, you said is when you twelve when you actually joined the gang. Yeah, I decided to join the opposite gang. How did, I mean, at 12 years old, I know you, the stuff that you went through probably made you have to grow up a little faster, right? So grown. And so at 12, making that decision where you're going to go opposite of your dad and you see all the fear, what what was the thought process in that? Do you even remember what even made you like, you know what, I'm going to show your ass. I'm going to go over on this side. I think the time was when my mother had decided she couldn't take take me being the way I was. And she decided to give me to the state. So I was like, okay, you're choosing your man over me. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm in the streets, ward of the state. So I'm like, I'm the, I'll be damned if I'm not home. I'm at the house getting abused by my daddy, and then I have to go to the state and get abused by somebody I don't even know. Mm. So I took this to the streets. I went to the streets. I ran away. So as I was running away, and I was like, man, he got me f***ed up. I know how to hurt him. And I went right to the opposite game. Everything you taught me to kill, to do, to do drugs, to sell drugs, to deliver drugs, to count money, to drive, everything that you taught me, I'm going to use it with them. So against your game. Is that the, and that's is that the end of the time step? The, the, no, go play it. Play it. I want to play it all the way through. I had towards him and the hatred. That I had towards him, I knew that if I came for your gang, it was gonna hit you hard. So we see here, Goodness. and this she was a uh, this is her stepfather, but it's that's the that's her father. So he taught her from a from a, a for however long he was there with her, he taught her from a child to twelve how to be a gang member, how to hate her people, how to sell drugs, how to live Ill, an illegal life, basically. That's what he taught her. Go to this next timestamp for time. So I'm going to try to 
keep it moving. But go to the next timestamp. Just keep that in mind. What everything that she just said that he taught her to do, and she went. He was a Latin king. She went and joined another gang. She went and joined the La the uh, maniac Latin disciples. Go ahead. Who do you know in these? How do you make contact with these other people in these other cities? My daddy's connects. My daddy was worldwide. My daddy was known. And I was I was not no dumbass kid. I would watch my daddy every move. Everything that he did, I wanted to do it too. I wanted to show him, okay, I could do it like you. Okay, I could be better than you. I can be better than you. Mm. And he used to always say that to me too. He used to install it in my head like, you do better than what I do. You gonna so be not, the best. So it. was that it? Took that go to on, my mind, play, like, play, okay, whatever route I go, I better be the best at it, and I'm going to outdo you. And so I, I remember his connection. So I remember just listen, his, so this his, is a this is a woman. This is a young, this is a girl looking at her father saying, looking at, watching her father saying, I'm going to be like you. What's wrong with that? What's, what's wrong with that picture? Everything. So that's the, I mean, I ain't right. I just thought about that when I just watched it this time. But go to Titus chapter 2. Because her as a, as a young woman, because she said she was always, I think it's in this video, but she said she was always with her father. It might be in one of the other videos we're going to play. But she said she was always with her father, which ain't nothing wrong with a daughter being with her father. But she was being molded to be like her father when that goes against what the scriptures say. She was supposed to be like she was supposed to be learning how to be a Proverbs thirty-one woman. That's right. How to raise children. Get that in Titus, Titus chapter two. The book of Titus, chapter two and verse three. The aged woman, likewise. So the aged woman, her mother. This is what her mother was supposed to learn from her mother, and then be teaching her daughter. Read. That they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Is learning how to count drug money holy? Is learning Hell how no. to, um, what, he, what else you say? Kill. Kill. Count money. Count money and deal drugs. Deal, deal drugs, drugs, stuff like that. Drugs. Cook drugs. Like, come on. She was being taught all wrong. And this is, this is not just her. Like, she's older now. She see, she see partially, she see the error of her ways. So she change after she did like 31 years in prison yep. for, for murder but it's like if she would just think about it if if we had if the christian church or the catholic church was showing us what we supposed to be doing would she been in that lifestyle hell no would her father had been in that lifestyle nope but that lets you know that the christian church ain't doing nothing for us the the christian church we talking about gang culture but christianity always got to find its way into stuff christianity is a destructive religion. That's right. It destroys the Israelites. It's, the, it's a destructive religion set up to destroy the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's what we're seeing. That's what we see in the streets of Chicago, the streets of L.A., the streets of Detroit. That's what we're seeing. We're seeing the destruction that Christianity put on us. Because every, I can guarantee you, every single gang member that you ask that question, they're going to say they believe in God. All the time. When they get a record yep. deal, what they do when they ran that when they win that war? Thank God. Y'all want to thank God all the time. That's that's what it is. But read that. Read on. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as become of holiness. Uh huh. Not false accusers. Not false accusers. Read. Not giving or too much. Not read. giving too much wine. Not giving too much wine. You gonna see in another clip. She was she was uh taking acid and and popping Oops. pills and stuff. That's the same thing, fall in the same category as a woman that's given to wine. Because she, and she, she made the statement, said she was in her right mind, she was still able to hold it down. But that don't justify taking the drugs. What they call a <clears throat> functioning alcohol. Right, right. You're just a functioning drug addict. This also, mm -hmm. this also goes to show. Check, check. This also goes to show even... Uh, cause how the, how you brought out the scriptures, how a mother is supposed to guide the daughters, but the fathers, whether or not the daughter is doing a job, the fathers still show have a really big role in whether what gender's life it is. Right. Everybody looks up to their father. Right. Women want men like their fathers. Who do you? Yeah. What what kind of men you think she was dealing with? 
the man that was like her father. Right. She looked up to her father and she said, I want to be, I want to do what you do. I want to be better than you. Yep. But if he was brought up in the commandments of God, she would have thought, I want a husband like you. Right. That's what she would have thought yep. if we would have geared our minds in the correct way. So and in that first part, so I'm, I'm the, the, let me see. Let me look at it real quick. Uh, hey, meanwhile, can I get a script? Because I want to go, I want to get a script for what you was going to, uh, Judah. Let's get to Rock chapter 7 and verse 20. Three. Let's start there, right? Let's start there on the same notion of thought. Sirach chapter 7 and verse 23. The book of Sirach chapter 7 and verse 23. Uh-huh. Hast thou children? Instruct them. Do what? Instruct nah, them. So as a parent, you're supposed to be instructing our children. How? According to God's laws, right? Read on. And bow down their neck from their youth. Right, and be on their behinds, right? Read. Hast thou daughters? Hast thou what? Hast thou daughters? Because we listened to this uh, sister statement about her father, how her father was raising her up, showing her the dope game, all this and that, right? So this is the question. Has thou daughters? Do you have daughters? Read. Have a care of their body. So you're supposed to have a care of their bodies. And you're also supposed to have a care of their well-being, right? Because mm -hmm. as you mentioned in Titus, right, she shouldn't be learning these things. She should be learning how to be a woman, how to be a Proverbs 31, how to be able to take care of her children, how to be able to love her husband, et cetera, et cetera, how to cook. Now, instead of cooking dope, right? Right. Should we know how to cook unleavened bread, not crack? Read. And show not thyself cheerful toward them. And this is an example of showing yourself cheerful to your daughters by showing them the street life. Right. So go back. Let's go uh, Go. Go to uh, Ephesians chapter 6. I'm going to leave that. Go to Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 1. Check, 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 check. Ephesians chapter 6. Because when you looked at, when you listened to that first part, she said, and of course, it's all evil and wickedness because it was gang, it was a gang life. But she said that her father, he, because her mother sold, put her, gave her away to the system. So she said, "Okay, you beat you beat me, or you gonna choose you choose you choose a man over your daughter. I right, I'm gonna go join the opposite gang. That's dishonoring your father. It's it's evil as hell. Either way you slice it." Whether you joined the game with him or not, it's still evil. But that the the fact that she had a disdain for her father, that shows that her father failed her. So um, read that. The book of Ephesians chapter six and verse one. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. So as a child, a child is supposed to be is supposed to obey their parents in the Lord. In the commandments. Read. For this is right. For this is right. So for her to even have that thought process to, I'm going to go against my father, that lets you know that it's, it's wrong. It's something wrong there. It's evil. It's wicked. It's out of the way. Read. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise. That's the first commandment that came with a promise. But yet we see here that it automatically, even though when we're not, we not, we the, the, all, the, all the gang, all of that shit evil. Damn, I keep, that's three. I keep saying that's it. Three. That's three. That's all three. Of, all that's of it is evil. Stuff. But yet, she still is the, 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 the big, the heavy thing about it is, the important thing to note is that you see the evil in it because she turned her back on her father. Right. Even though he still looked like, when you read, when you watch these whole videos, he still looked out, of, he still looked out for her while right. she was in his presence. Even though she was on the opposite game, but he, she said she brought it out with it. He told them when she by herself, "Hey, it is what it is." But if you, if she around me, you better not touch her. And that's, and that's what he's saying. So he still protected her as a father. But it's like, come on, like, right. it's all evil. I'm gonna leave you it. You know at that. what I'm getting from this? In spite of everything, it shows you how much a father had, uh, how much of an impact a father has right. on the child's life, right? Yep. Because she made the statement that her mother chose another man. Over her, right? Right. And that's a lot. That's, that happens all the time, right? You know, you uh, these women, they get these boyfriends, these whatever, they must be molesting the kids, quote unquote, and they take the husband's side, the boyfriend's right. side yep. over the father. And she said, in, in result of that, she chose the opposite game. Right, the opposite game. So now I'm thinking, like, now all that resentment is now, even though the mother did it, but the yeah. resentment is towards the father. Like, right. where were you? Yep. Where was you, dad? Yep. Yep. Uh, no, nah, read on. 
Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Uh huh. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. It says, you fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. So instead of him teaching her how to gang bang and hate her own people, her own brothers, he was supposed to be teaching her how to fear the Lord. Because if he was teaching her how to fear the Lord, he wouldn't have been beaten on her. He would have been, the example that he would have been showing to her was one of keeping God's commandments. But he didn't show her that example, so that's why she had hatred towards him. Read on, was that it on that? And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. Provoke them not to wrath, read. But bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. That's the commandments. Bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. How to, how to love your people, how to do things that's going to benefit your nation. Not kill him and destroy him. Right. Um, go to Sirach 22 and 10. Hey, that right there shows the impact of the father right, right. there. Yep. Because in the beginning of the, of the scripture, of the chapter, he said he spoke about both parents and right. honoring your parents. But then he isolates the father. Right. And says to him, make sure that you don't, that you bring them up in the instruction of the Lord and that you bring them not to wrath, referring to God's wrath. But why would he isolate the father? Right. Because it's the father where instruction comes from. It's 100%. the father where influence comes from. Yep. And this is why the white man wanted all the fathers out of the house. Yep. Okay. To read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 22 and verse 10. But children, being haughty, through disdain and want of nurture, do stain the nobility of their kindred. This is right here. She lacked nurture. So she, it caused her to go against her parents, to go on the other side. Both sides was evil, but just using that, just highlighting that point out of it, she turned against her parents in all, in all, in all actuality because her parents turned against her. They, raised, they showed her evil lessons, so she pretty much went the other way because of the exam they bad example that they left. Because it said through disdain and want of nurture. That means that she was she through disdain because, because she wasn't being nurtured. She wasn't being taught right. She wasn't being reared up right. She she had hatred towards her mother and she had hatred towards her father. So that's that's why she ended up going down the path that she went. Uh go to Sirach eleven and twenty one. I mean eleven and twenty eight. Hey, also, you know, uh, back in Ephesians, because I was thinking about it as you was bringing it out, when it said, provoke not your children to wrath. Uh -huh. If her parents had of known God's laws, right. she wouldn't have ended up in prison. That whole night yeah. would have even happened. Right. Because if we don't discipline our children or raise them up right, they're going to get disciplined out there. Yep. Her whole damn life was gone. She'll never get that time back. And she went to jail in her youth. Yep. So uh, read that. Sirach 11 and 28. The book of Sirach, chapter 11 and verse 28. Judge none, judge none blessed before his death. It says judge none blessed before his death. So this is, this in context, this scripture is talking about somebody that appears to be righteous. They appear that things are going good. It said don't judge that man before his, don't, don't judge him as blessed. Before he pass away. Why? Read that. For a man shall be known in his children. A man is known in his children. She said it herself. Her, her father was like a, a, the king of gang leaders, whatever he was. So he was very good at what he did. He was evil. As, he was doing evil. But he was very good at it. So the example you get is. What she did, what she ended up doing. She she was, you see, you see the evil that she was doing? She was like 15, selling drugs and able to pay her rent off selling drugs. Had her own spot. And the game that she did, she learned, the, the game that she was with didn't even know that she was as young as she was. Because she was holding her own, so to say, because of the the the, the example that her father showed her. So this is, this is a perfect example of how the gang culture destroys our community. It destroys everything about our community. So before we go on to the next video, we're going to go 
on a commercial break. We're gonna pull up the let's go, let's go ahead and go into a commercial break. Pull up that uh that feast of dedication video. We got more, stay tuned. In a remote prison turned black site, in just 24 hours, all prisoners will face elimination. All right, Mr. Court, don't lie. Now, again, Geno Jennings, Geno Jennings, is that your man? That huckster? That fraud? Is that your man? A revolutionary woman can't have no reactionary man. Where there's oppression, there will always be resistance. Yo, this guy be teaching me the Bible. He said something about I'm an Israelite. Do I'm an Israelite pastor? Absolutely not. The only thing you need is John 3.16, for God so loved the world. By the way, have you ever been swallowed up? Been what? across the seas, 144,000, we deep like a pool, man, we digging, you constantly sleep, so everyone go and come gather around me, can't you see how we move, try but do it too smooth, from coast to coast making moves, we the action of the post, yeah, they try to stop us, they ain't even want to catch the boat, I, I, I know it's coming, yeah, that day is coming, can't wait till my hands cross this drop, time, time is ticking, best of this, they stricken, the end time is wrapping up, all aboard, we dripping, it's the perfect timing, word more than the worth of diamonds, on this earth is shining, we've been giving power, one left, the 11th hour, to the word of hour. I'm just, singing the past song, the state of this kingdom won't last long, so how do you figure the time you got left, when it's already 10 and a half gone, I'm in rhythm, never prone to a schism, on this throne, that's wisdom, on the scene, that's vision, it's in our jeans, no denim, I'm on the team, that's winning, know that we taking this goal, we on a quest to wake Jacob up next, and it's rhythm, I'm playing up my boat, how easy we making the coast. Dickory, dickory. I know you sick of me, but you are God's enemy. If you live with me, don't be an idiot. Follow for trickery, most I have had enough. Call all the deacons up, and all of the captains. It's time to get out there. We never react, and we swing in the action. Cause you running out of time. Uh, yeah, you running out of time. Uh, Dick 
century. The deacon pulled up on your dock, blew up the spot. This never stops. The prophets that got here to light up your block. Ain't taking no ills to break up the spells. And this back to the shit that is here on your watch. Ticking the top. New day, got a new play. About to do it all again, no blocks. The kingdom approaches and this irreproachment. If you still observing, you might be an op. Stop. Alert before we even die. Curse, I shook cause Aruba got rocked. Prophetically speaking, we're here to bring kingdoms. So no, we ain't living till we see that shot. Shake on top. Pitchily waiting to drop. The stakes on the way for the swap. Trey got next, so we kicking down those no knocks. And taking the kingdom, we snatching from Edom. Reclaiming our freedom, but it's gonna get hot. Redeem what they buy. Watch how we stick in the plot. Hands on his heel at the box. We hunting for fox. That shit ain't hit on them rocks. The most high to spit up the clock. Watch. Quest to wake the 12, hitting all the spots. They try to track our trail, can't connect them dots. Feeding the freedom and not. This number six, we still leaving them shot. Taking the time, time is in hand for the flock. Man, hasten them games for they lie. Hickory, hickory, I know you sick of me, but you a guy's enemy. If you live wickedly, don't be an idiot. Follow for trickery, most I has had enough. Call all the deacons up, and all of the captains. It's time to get active, we never reacted. We swinging the action, cause you running out of time. Remember the law, kingdom is ours, dragon is raw, we coming for war, nations gonna fall, you ready for war, strong in the law, and in my fall, then pick up my saw, you killing them all, blood on the floor, you ready for war, raw, raw, you ready for war, raw, raw, you ready for war, raw, raw, you ready for war, raw, The time is coming, you scared? Pass me the sword of a land. I do me in blood everywhere. Father, teach me your ways. Before the Lord takes you away. Told me be bold like a lion. Here's a war, somebody die. Never give up, never give in. This is a fight, we're destined to win. Strike the enemy, aim for the head. Pay the rise, I'm down there again. Hit him again and again, again and again. I can't show no mercy. The people we gotta defend. Give them a hundred percent. You must remain humble and disciplined. You must keep the hunger and vigilance and execute punishment vengeance. I must apply when I'm older. Learn at the times getting colder. Pushing this weight on my shoulders. Get light with the sword of the host. Remember, my avenger. You're a fighter, a defender. For your father, a contender. For the body and its members. Listen, you teach, I meditate. Until we walk up through heaven gates. I'm ready to fight, won't hesitate. For the law of my life, I'm a dedicate. Dedicate, dedicate. then you will elevate. Remember your father in heaven, no surrogate. Sharpen your sword on the stone for the heaven. Remove all that leather, get ready, don't hesitate. We in the battle, skedaddle or detonate. Remember your stock, get it popping, then decimate. We are the sons of the prophets, no featherweight. Built for this battle, revive what they desecrate. I'm ready for war, ready to bloody my sword. Ready to kick in the door. Ready forever, the devil been bringing. I seen that you did it, I'm ready to sue. I'm packing my Bible, got everything with me. I want to give me, I heard you before. I got to put in this room for my people. Then I eat, cause I'm ready to roll. You ready to roar? Ain't for his head. Nah, it ain't dead if his blood isn't shed. Bet he gon' pay for the day when he begged him to raise and he raised off our faces instead. Woo! Fire from heaven, no threats. Eat him, gon' need him a rest. Sword through his crest. Call her relieving my stress. We end in his name nonetheless. I am a son of a leader. 
Shalom, shalom. So we back, we back. I'm gonna get right back into it. That's for time's right. sake. We're gonna get right back into it. Pull up that fourth video. We're gonna continue on it. How to gain culture. It's gonna be a, 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 a hell. This is gonna be like a three a three month part series. But we're dealing with how to gain culture because this is this is what plagues our community. This is one of the major things that's played outside of Christianity. Gangs. Is what one of the major issues in our in our neighborhoods worldwide. We get involved in these gangs and we kill off and hate our people. Go ahead and play that video. Now Mudo, was he go back a to member the, uh, of your team. gang or just a civilian? He was just a kid. One ten. Peace. He got killed by the Latin Kings. Yes, he did. Now, Mudo, was he a member of your gang or just a civilian? He was just a kid in the neighborhood that the brothers felt. We all took turns taking him to school because he didn't like to ride the yellow bus. And he was deaf. So he was more embarrassed of the yellow bus. So we all took turns taking him to school. So he just uh, used to always be seen in folks' car. So they made him a target. So this was just a deaf kid that you guys were just kind of taking care of in your own way. And because of the proximity, the Latin Kings assumed that he was part of your gang. Yeah. How was he killed exactly? He got shot in my car. In your car? Yeah, he got his brains blown out. But you were not in the car at the time. I was in the corner. Um, I was actually working that night selling drugs. So that morning when it was time for me to take him to school, I was changing shifts and he was in my car and he was excited because it's Mother's Day and he wanted me to take him and go buy his mom some something and he kept beeping the horn and I was talking to my folks. So by the time I went to turn around, the car had pulled up and blew his brains out. How did you react when you saw that? You saw nothing but fire. Okay. So your friend gets killed and you go meet with his mother. His mother ran out to the car. She felt it. She felt it. That's why I don't have kids, so I don't know. But they say a parent knows when something's wrong with their child. Because as soon as she, as soon as he was shot, she ran at the house screaming and she ran to the car. What was the conversation like with the mother at that point? She wasn't trying to hear nothing. All I could do was promise her that I'd get it, did it. Okay, so you make a promise uh, to Mudo's mother that you're going to avenge his death. Definitely. How did you know that a Latin king actually pulled the trigger? They were calling out, they, they was calling, throwing out their crowns and calling out, you know what I'm saying, disrespecting the maniacs. They drove right past us. Okay, so you know it was the Latin kings, but did you know specifically who did it? Not at that moment, no. Okay, but the hood talks. 
So now word starts getting around and so forth. So what information did you start to get after that? I actually got information not even from the hood. Information came from the police. Information came really? from the when they informed us that they had somebody in custody and that they was going to court and then informed us when they was being rounded out. So it now, was never that, the hood. Is that, is get to go to the times. At least the, the sheriffs. Okay, so who will get Sirach chapter 13, verse 15? So this is another bad result of the gang culture because it's a good gesture that they was taking turns taking the deaf, the deaf kid to school because he was embarrassed to be on the bus. So that's a good gesture. You would look at, you could look, you would look at that and be like, man, this day was a good, this is a good person. These are good people because they taking him to school so he don't be embarrassed on the yellow bus. But the bad side of that is you a damn gangbanger, and he ain't got nothing to do with the gang, but because he with you, guilty by association. Read that. Sirach 13 and 15. The book of Sirach chapter 13 and verse 15. Every beast loveth his like, uh -huh. and every man loveth his neighbor. All flesh consorteth according to kind. So even though he had nothing to do with the game, because they always seen him with them, and it wasn't just with her, they was taking turns taking him to school. So the king saw it, so they like, he a king too, so he going to get it right with him. Read. And a man will cleave to his like. And remember, we're reading out of a spiritual book. Even though he was deaf, and he probably didn't even really fully understand what was going on with them. He, un he understood what was going on also. Everybody in the neighborhood knows what goes on in the neighborhood, and they know who to associate themselves with, like, like you read the scripture. All flesh consorted unto his kind. He might have been deaf. He might have been embarrassed to get on the yellow school bus. Right. But he knew exactly what she was doing, who she was, and who she associated herself with. People right. Remember, what people look at, when gangs is like a youthful uh, it's like a youthful lust. It's a youthful yeah, thing. Right. It's always Everybody amongst children. And all kids, they think it's cool. Right. We think it's cool to be in gangs. So he might not have necessarily been a part of it because his parents was probably much more strict. Right. Right. And she ain't really have her parents, but he wanted to associate himself with them. Right. And you got to remember, you know, being deaf, you got you communicate with sign language. Right. So you throw up the, the gang signs, you, you already know. If you know sign language, you know gang signs too, right? Right. King love, you know, all that. Yep. Uh, read on. All flesh can sort of according to kind, and a man will cleave to his like. Uh-huh. What fellowship have the wolf with the lamb? So the sinner with the godly. What agreement is there between the read hyena? Uh, We're gonna read up to 18. What agreement is there between the hyena and a dog? And what peace between the rich and the poor? So they know that, so the the so the Latin kings know, okay, we see him always with them. He a maniac Latin disciple. It is what it is. That's what he is. So he gonna he with them. We coming on the block, that's who we hitting. So the gang culture put whether he knew what was going on or not. He he didn't have he didn't he didn't he didn't deserve to get shot up because he was getting he was just catching a ride to school here and there. We don't know, you know what I'm saying we don't know the whole life story and all that. Based on what we the information we have here, he was just getting a ride to school and home because he didn't like being on the bus. And in the midst of that, because he was guilty by association, he ended up getting killed based on the evil that they were doing. Based on the evil that they were, they were beefing with the Latin, the Latin kings, beefing with the Latin disciples. The same damn people Bring it beefing out. with each other. Bring it out. Same struggles, same problems, same drugs, probably getting the, same, the drugs from the same person, but you fighting against each other. You live blocks away from each other. Probably two, three blocks from each other. Right. It had to be. That's how they yeah. were driving. It is. It, it, it is. Up being a when you look it up, where the areas is, it's close as hell. Yep. Close as hell. I wanted to say something, too. I know it's not just Chicago, right? 
A lot of people lose their life because they associate themselves with the wrong people. Right. Women that be, they in relationships with these men. What happened? When they catch the man that they want, they kill the woman too. Yep. Whether she know what's going on or not. All people do, they say, you with them, okay, you against me. So yep. if, I, if I can't get him, I'm going to get you. Yep. And people know who is with who. Right. They, they do watch. Know. They watch. When they come in, they watch. They, when you're in, you in that lifestyle, people watch. They see, and they take note. So when they see, like, in, uh, when you watch these whole videos, she actually mentioned those things. When she just she got, uh, she knew the she knew them. She knew who they she knew they she knew who they was because the association. But get Second Corinthians six and fourteen real quick, and then cue that fifth video. I don't know if this is it. Yeah, that's it. So you should be training your children up. Don't associate with this person if they in a certain lifestyle. I don't care how cool they seem or how much y'all mesh together because whatever they got going on, that's going to be your problem. Yep. Read. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 14. Be ye not, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. And this is what Officer Ace just brought out. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. If you in that gang life, and you know, because everybody that's in the gang life ain't really in it, ain't really about that life. They just doing it because they following. So if you that person that you know in your conscience, man, something ain't right. This ain't right. This ain't how. So what is my environment? Get up out of there. You got to do what you got to do to get up out of there. It says, do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Read. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Because you, because you have that thought process that something ain't right. It's a righteous spirit that's trying to get, that's trying to pull you up out of it. You got you to gotta separate yourself. Read on. And what communion have light with darkness? Read. And what concord have Christ with Belial? Uh-huh. Or what part have he that believeth with an infidel? Read. And what agreement have the temple of God with idols? Read. For ye are the temple of, of the living God. So a lot of you, that, you, you brothers that's in that life, and you really, you know you're not supposed to be there, but you don't really know where you're supposed to be at. The reason why is because you're the temple of God. And That's the most right. high is pricking at your heart. The most high pricking at your mind. Like, hey, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Because a lot of you, a lot of brothers that be in the game, like, what they, they, they there. But when evil or, hey, man, we finna go rob this stuff. Hey, man, I got to go home. Mm -hmm. They find their way up out there. They yep. find their way out of it. Yep. If you that, that, that that's that's that, that's the that's the that's your conscience that you hear when you say that your conscience that you hear telling you, hey, go home. It's that spirit. That's the spirit. You just don't understand it. You don't know. That's just like when uh when when the Most High was calling Samuel. Yep. He he didn't he didn't know he couldn't recognize that it was the Most High calling him until Eli said, hey, you know what? That's that's God calling you. Hey, next time you say say yes, Lord. So. You brothers that's in, the, in that life and you know you ain't supposed to be there, you have to separate yourself. Read on. Uh, verse 17. You want to finish 16? Yeah. Nah, just jump to verse 17. Verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them. Wherefore, come out from among them. Read. And be ye separate. Read. Saith the Lord. Uh-huh. And touch not the unclean thing. That gang is the unclean thing. Because if you continue walking in that lifestyle of the gang, you're going you're gonna to end up being one of two things. You're going to be dead or you're going to be in jail for the rest of your life. Period. Read. And touch not the unclean thing. Uh-huh. And I will receive you. And the most high will receive you. He's going to forgive you of your sins. He's going to be forgive you of the evil that you have done. And you're going to be able to get your mind right and you're going to you gonna, you gonna receive that understanding. Pull up that next video. And hey, while we getting that, like, Y'all could lie and say, oh, no, I love this. I like this life. You know you be having that, that feeling inside you. I hate to say it like that. It sounds <laughs> Christian. But you know you had those thoughts in your mind like, man, this bogus is hell what I'm doing right now. Yep. When y'all randomly punch somebody and go in their pockets, when y'all break into somebody's car and y'all know the person, you know what you doing ain't right. You, you feel ashamed. Right. You don't say that. Right. Conscious. Guilty conscience. Yep. 
So when you when those thoughts come in your mind, that's the Lord. You better get out of there because what'll happen eventually? You'll be. It's a movie called Mark for Death. Now you can't be seen on bus stops. You can't go to the movies. You can't go get your your regular little address changed on something. Why? They see you standing in line. It's over with. Yep. Repent. Leave it alone. Yep. So play that video. He mentioned the mover. Like, what is about that? And that's when the, that's so when this is the so just the so you everybody this is the the okay. we just watching the last video that she uh that the the deaf the deaf brother got killed. So this is the aftermath of it. Read, I mean, play. Pull the trigger, and uh, Hector Reyes is now dead in front of you. What goes through your head as you're looking at this dead body? Nothing. Nothing. I've, this is something that this ain't this, this is something that I've seen my whole life. Living in the streets of Chicago, you can walk past a dead body that's normal. Looking at people with their head blown off was normal, was nothing sickening. It was just everyday life. So nothing at that moment went through my head. And that goes back to the you well, keep, keep seeing playing, a dead body. That goes back to that without natural affection. Play? A little bit different. Not to me. Okay. It wasn't, she you know, had no I, remorse. It was no feeling. But she at caught that a brother. She killed the, the brother in 50, cold blood. Had no no thought. Like, bro, you killed my friend. You killed my friend. It was no no coming back from that. I didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. I wasn't thinking right. I didn't know. At this moment, I do. You know what I'm saying? At this moment, there's a lot of fear. It's a lot of emotions bro i took two lives you know what i'm saying i ruined four families five families so i mean but back then the child doesn't think that back then the child thinks that oh it's just down to do whatever well that's is that the time after you time? killed hector reyes you so uh get some rock chapter 17 and 16 real quick so what we just seen here, she said she killed the she killed them and she killed them. He said, How did you feel? I didn't feel like I didn't feel ish. I feel nothing. She's like in Chicago, you walk, you walking down the street and see a dead body. That's a normal thing. That's bad. That's that's terrible. And that's how a lot of we see the, we see what's going on. We see the violence that go out there. There's a cold, icy heart amongst our people, and it's because of the, the upbringing. They we we've been our 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 environment's been so bad and 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 um rotten that when we see rotten things we can't we don't see it as rotten we look at it as, as a normal thing but read that the book of Sirach chapter seventeen and verse sixteen every man from his youth is given to evil that's what that's what we seeing we come in this life you in that gang life you're given to evil read. Neither could they make to themselves fleshy hearts for stony. So you, when it says you, came, you couldn't make to yourselves fleshy hearts to stony, meaning you can't even, if you wanted to care, you couldn't care. If you wanted to have some affection or empathy, you couldn't do it because your, your heart is so hardened by the evils that you've grown up seeing all your life. Read. Was that the end of it? Yes, sir. Go to Ezekiel chapter 11 and verse 17. Like it or not, you can't sit up here and say, oh, a child don't know what's going on. At a certain age, a child understands that this, this, this is evil. This is, this is evil. This is wrong. Just like that Go last ahead. video, uh, the last uh, show we did we, when uh, we played the young man that was being interviewed, he knew exactly what he was doing. Ezekiel 11 and 17. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 11 and verse 17. Therefore say, thus saith the Lord God, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered. And I will give you the land of Israel. So we are those that have been scattered. We are the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We've been scattered amongst the nations, amongst the countries. That's why we are scattered all around. They, they call us the minority. Read. And they shall come thither, and they shall take away all the detestable things thereof, of all the abominations 
They're all from, from Vince. The crowns, the, the, the bunnies, the six-pointed stars, all of that. Those are the abominable things. You're going to take that away from you. You got it's time to repent. That's why we are coming. That's why we're bringing these things out. Read. And I will give them one heart. And I will put a new spirit within you. The Most High God is trying to put a new spirit within you. That's why we are going over these things. That's why we are bringing these things out. Because the Most High is trying to put a right spirit in you. That way, a spirit in you where you will love, your, will love your brother that look just like you that's got the same problems that you got. Read. And I will take the stony heart out of their he flesh. He's going to take that stony non-affection. That, 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 that. Stone cold. Uh, you said what? Stone, stone wall. Cold. Stone, stone that stone cold, cold, that heartless, he going to take that heart out of you and read. And will give them a heart of flesh. I'm going to give you a heart of flesh, meaning you're going to be pliable. You're going to be able to, you're going to see things in the right way. You're going to see it. If you walk past a dead body, you're going to know that that's wrong. Something's wrong with that. Read. That they may walk in my statues uh -huh. and keep my ordinances and do them. And they shall be my people, and I will be their God. So that's what we are supposed to be. That's why we're bringing these things out. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's Today right. is the day you hearing this. It's time to repent. It's time to return back to the Most High God. It's time to get in contact with us and get your mind right so that you can, have a, so you can develop a, 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 an affectionate heart towards your people right. and stop killing your people. Stop, get rid of that stone cold spirit. So to, this has been another episode of the Watchman Radio, the decree of the watchers. I'm Officer Simakaya. Officer Asa. Shalom, Officer Judah. Oh, praise. Most High Christ bless. Officer Ariel, Shalom. Most High Christ bless you all. See you next time. Hebrew.